Hey guys, welcome back to Magic TV. My name's Craig. It's nine o'clock on a Wednesday. It's time for a Hidden Gems. Now, this is where I take a trick or a product that's been out from years and years and years ago. It might be something written up in a book. It might be something from an online lecture. It might be something uh, that's actually been released as a physical product. But I literally break down why this is the most amazing thing of all time. We stand on the shoulders of giants. And for me, the Hidden Gem series is one of the most important series on Magic TV because it allows me to highlight tricks from years gone by that you guys might not have seen that I think are worthy of your attention because we always look for that latest and greatest trick that trick that's going to make us famous right and forget about the latest and greatest trick unless it's been marketed by me in which case buy it immediately but other than that forget about the latest and greatest trick instead go and have a look at tricks that came out five years ago ten years ago twenty years ago and you'll see that there's so much amazing material out there that new magicians don't see because they're not exposed to it instead they see all the latest stuff and today I'm going to talk to you about a trick that's very, very old. However, it keeps getting brought back out. So you might not have you might have seen it, you might not. I am talking about paper clipped by by Jay Sankey. Paper clipped by Jay Sankey. Now, what paper clipped is the original paper clip routine, which is what you're going to see a performance of now, it allows you to have a card folded up with a paper clip on it, keeping it in place. You can take that out and give it to a spectator or put it on a table. They can hold on to it the entire time. You can have another card picked and signed. And then when you take the paper clip off and you give them the card, it's the actual card that they signed. It's the perfect mystery card. It really is. It is the perfect, the absolute perfect mystery card. Now, um, Jay has published this on about 15,000 projects uh, and he's uh, got entire projects specifically about paper clips and all the different routines that you can uh, you can do with it. And you can get those directly from Jay Sankey's website. Um, the, the switch itself is called the full view switch and there's so much you can do with it. Let's have a look at a performance, the basic paper clips routine, first of all, so you can see exactly what you can do with this. And then I'll talk about why it's so good. Uh, Jack. Hello. I have a folded up card. Thank you. Uh, it's a prediction. Ooh. I'm going to pop it right there. I, I've put a uh, little paper clip on it to keep it in place. I don't want you to see that until later on. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, um, I want you to pick any card. And it's really important that you get a free choice of any card. You're going to sign the card. But it's really important you get a free choice of any card. Because my prediction, hopefully, is going to match. So which card would you like? It, it's really important. It's not. You don't feel forced into one particular card. Take anyone you want. I want to take the two of hearts. Are you sure? Yep. Okay, that's a good card. And write your name on it there, Jack. That would be fantastic. Okay. Good stuff. Okay. And just say stop anytime you want to. Stop. Cool, put the card back there. Face down? Or yeah, face down. Okay. There we go. And uh, hopefully you guys can, can you see it there? Yeah. yeah. Um, now, I'm going to leave it in the middle, but we're, what I'll do is I'll bury it a little bit further down like that, just so it goes near the bottom. Um, now, your card is somewhere in the deck. Would you agree that there's absolutely no way I could know what your card was? He had a free choice. Please remember that. You had a free choice of any card. I didn't make you pick a card. You could have picked anyone you wanted to. Would you agree with that? Yeah, and I signed it. And you signed it, example as well. So is there any way I could have known ahead of time what the card is? I don't see how. So if I told you I was able to predict that card from the very beginning, would that be good? That would be amazing. Because don't forget, this card has been here the whole time. With this paper clip on, it's been here the whole time. I don't want to even touch this card. You take it yourself. Because if that matched your card, that would be great, right? Can I open it? Yeah, because not only does it match your card, open it up all the way. What the fuck? It is fuck? actually your card what how so there you go that's the full view switch in action paper clicked is brilliant now you'll notice that when i did that my uh, the card i was switching in uh, the fold was slightly different to the fold that was um uh, on the paper clipped card nobody ever notices that ever now you can actually go perfect score or something like that or but if you haven't got the the perfect um a Mercury card fold like I haven't. Honestly, it doesn't matter. I've done this for years and years and years and nobody ever noticed anything. You just literally take the card, you take the paper clip off, you put it away, you give them the card. When it matches, it's incredible. And when you see some of the ideas that Jay's got with this, 
Honestly, he's he's wrung every last little routine out of this and then some. One of my favourite routines is where he's got a blue card paper clipped. He has a red deck. He has someone pick a card and sign it. The card's lost in the deck. And when he takes the paper clip card and shows the blue card, it's the actual card. I mean, it's just so good. Um, and, and not only does it have a lot of applications, it's very, very practical. You don't need a table. You can put the paperclip card into someone's hand. You're immediately reset. Everything is examinable. Um, there's, although it requires a little bit of sleight of hand, it's not the most difficult routine in the world to do. It, with a bit of practice, you'll have it no problem. And you know what? If you're a creative person, if you've got any, any creativity at all, then you're going to love this because you're going to come up with so many different ways. Imagine having the ability to have a card isolated from the very beginning of the routine and show that that's another card. That's what you have here. So let your mind race. You know, use this as a creativity exercise and see if you can come up with the best possible way to use this. I love this. It's called Paper Clipped. It's by, uh, or the full view switch, depending on which way you want to look at it. You can get it directly from Jay Sankey. It is absolutely, categorically, 100% the perfect example of a hidden gem. So there you go, guys. That's another uh, hidden gems in the bag. Do me a favor. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now, you want to see more videos like this, like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below. I'm going to be back again tomorrow at nine o'clock with another video. Thank you so much once again for watching. If you want to join the Netrix, please go to www.thenetrix.com. That's www.thenetrix.com. And you can see what all the fuss is about. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. My name's Craig from Magic TV.